Hey guys, I'm here with a friend of mine, Ricka. He rides a KLR 650 and he saw some of my videos and he said, hey, I work at the Panama Canal. He works in the power generation section of the Panama Canal. Next time you're in the area, uh, you should swing by. So I came by and he's gonna give me a tour and this is his office and he's gonna explain a little bit about uh, what he does. There's some very big things that have to run perfectly to keep the, the Panama Canal, those big ships moving in and out. Right here we have um, the diesel engines and this is our control room. As I told you before, we have the DCS system. In this screen we have... How big is the motor that, that you have running? Okay, uh, it's a V18, turbo charged intercooler. And it's capable Turbo, turbocharged V18? Yeah. Burning bunker type C. I don't even know what that is. Pardon? Bunker type C, I don't know. This is a kind of control. Oh, it's like a uh, heavy fuel oil. Oh, okay. How big is each piston in the motor? Okay. Like how many cc's? Mm -hmm. Let's say 48 centimeters diameter and 60 centimeters stroke. So do the math. Okay, uh, all the... Uh, and it's turbocharged. Yeah. <laughs> we boost to 3.5 bars of boost and then goes through the turbo chariot intercoolers. Uh, Rick is at work right now, so our tour it keeps getting interrupted by work. Uh, go figure. But he has this control panel here that monitors everything that happens inside that engine. Temperature of every little part and piece, and how thick or thin the oil is or needs to be, and um, it's all pretty impressive. What we got here is the DCS. We have four screens to monitoring all the engines and the auxiliary system. We are constantly monitoring uh, operative um, measurements and all the parameters like temperature, pressure, flow, um, whatever. So we can take the screen and change the environment. For example, let's take diesel engine number seven. We could see combustion air system. This is a schematic diagram that is very easy to, to understand and give you all the readings. You can see, for example, the turbo charger is revving above 12,000 RPM. When this take the, uh, the air and then compress, look at the temperature right here. The air is hot. 220 Celsius. Celsius. Then it passes through the two stage intercooler to cool down to 60 degrees. So it's very important and, and you can see how it drops the temperature so much. And look at the boost. You guys in the Evolution, Subarus, and uh, those kind of cars, I was always looking to increase the boost where we're holding 45 PSI or even more. So this is the combustion air. We can see through the fuel system, the temperature and the pressure. We have supplies and booster pump. We have generator. We have little oil system. We have several Go, go back to the generator. Okay. How much power is is the motor generator? Well, you are generating between 17 to 18 megawatts each engine. There's three engines out yeah, there. Yeah, three engines. Each, each are generating 17 to 18 megawatts. Exactly. One thing that Ricky explained to me earlier that, that I thought was interesting is in the year 2000, the United States uh, handed over control of the Panama Canal to Panama. And when that happened, this became a business. Exactly. And, and in a business, you have to be able to produce money, you have to pay for stuff. Exactly. You can't just take it from the taxpayers, right? Yep. So, uh, when the United States was here, the, they only generated enough power for, uh, enough power to run the, the Panama Canal. But now that this is a business, they had to expand and generate more power than just the canal needs. They also, so they generate power for the canal and they also generate power for the surrounding city. And they, and they sell that extra energy to uh, make profit. Next, we're gonna go down to the engine room and we're gonna see these motors. And I've taken a peek through this window over here. And they just look unbelievably massive. So it's 
really loud in there and I, you're probably not gonna be able to hear anything on the camera but I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let it roll so you can uh, understand how loud it is. Okay, first of all, we are in fuel oil system. Every engine burns about 3,000 liters per hour of fuel. Per hour? Per hour. 3,000 no liters per hour. Of bunker type seat that is a heavy fuel oil. But beside of the fuel, every engine burns 300 liters of new oil daily. Okay. If everything is running fine, if we have something wrong, it can increase this. That's something that KLR650 riders complain about all the time. Exactly. Oh, my motorcycle burns so much oil. <laughs> so These <laughs> motors burn 300 liters daily, every day of brand new oil. And you guys are so worried for a quarter. <laughs> Were these motors built by Kawasaki or what? 